Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 30 of the show with no name. I'm your humble host, Nick, and today we'll be exploring another abandoned farmhouse out here in the desert. I like to call this house Clove House. Let's take a look. One of the first things that caught my attention about this house was how high all the bushes were all around it and what a pain it was to get to. And well, that's because this house is built on a draw, which usually isn't good. So when I first came out here, I was quite worried about the foundation of the house. But upon further inspection, I came to the conclusion that the foundation's fine. And I figured out what they did. This house, yes, it is built in a draw, but they dug an irrigation ditch to redirect the water away from this house, which is what they had to do back in these days because they wanted to build these houses as close to water as possible, but they also didn't want to compromise the foundation of their houses. So that was their way around it, redirecting the water in the draw. had to come get a close-up at these living room windows too because they're one of those awesome window builds that they used to do back in the day out here where they built the windows out of the house which just makes for a great look on the inside whenever I see a living room window like that I know that the house is going to be good we're starting out down here in the downstairs bedroom Taking a look at it, and wow, look at that window there. What an incredible window that they put in that room right there. And that's what I noticed downstairs immediately as well, is the windows in this house are just incredible. Windows were a really important thing in these farmhouses back in the day because they needed them for light. So they've had they had gas, of course, and even electricity in a decent amount of these houses, but I still think they depended on that sunlight for light in the day a lot. And so these windows being big and spacious like this was really important back in these days. And I think that's why they had such an emphasis on the windows. And it's why they look so nice, even today. You can also see the havoc that the uh, stick and plaster build can wreak on a house as it starts to deteriorate because that plaster will break apart and fall onto the floor and then if it gets wet it'll hold that water and then it'll st that water will start soaking into the floorboards and that's when things start falling apart and what's going on here too were these windows or was there more to this house that got taken down at one time those holes in the wall right there really threw me for a loop. I couldn't quite figure out what was going on there. Just so weird. Was there a porch built on back here that you could open doors to get to or... I just don't know. This whole part of the house over here left me confused because part of it looks like it's been taken down and there's only a little bit of it left so all I can do is speculate as to what was going on over here at this side of the house. Is 
was definitely one of the best houses I've ever been to as far as the living room windows go. And as we go up the stairs here, you can really see the problems that that plaster causes as it starts to fall off the roof and the walls. Because it's everywhere. And we got another one of these holes in the wall over here. Was this a window at one time? What is going on on this side of the house? Something else that I thought was really cool about the upstairs here is how many bedrooms there are. This is probably a six bedroom house. Each room has an awesome window with a great view. I like these old farmhouse bedrooms because they were just so basic. People didn't have all the items that they do now, so you didn't need as big of a space. You just needed your bed and your little bookshelf and a dresser and a rug and So you didn't need as much space as people need these days, or think they need. It's so cool up here. I wonder what it was like when it was first built to walk through this area up here. I think unfortunately this house is in late stage three of its decomposition cycle because as you will soon see there's parts of the ceiling that are completely gone now and it's going to get wetter and wetter up here and soon you won't be able to walk up here because the floors will be too weak. got this as well again part of me thinks that since this was a six bedroom house that maybe at one time it was a little bigger than it looks now because maybe they've they built porches on both sides of the house and maybe there was even an upstairs porch where you could walk out and sit down and relax and that's the only other explanation I can come up with for why there's these holes in the walls in this house. Now as you can see the roof is gone right there. So this part of the house is going to deteriorate very fast. I'm glad I was able to come up here when I was able to and document this house. Definitely be cool to see a picture of this house when it was first built back in the day. It sure would answer a lot of questions that I have about it. such a unique structure.
must have been meticulous building these houses back in the day. Putting each of those little sticks up just must have taken forever. You had to be really patient out here. I had to come down in the basement to further investigate some things and wow they did a really good job redirecting the water in this draw because honestly I expected to see a lot of dirt and soot piled up down here and there's nothing and the foundation's great that's just a testament to how good they did redirecting the water out here This house was so unique and I'm glad I came out here when I did. And it's truly a wonderful spot. I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos and the pictures I took of this awesome house. Thank you.